Hey Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for people in your life, and this is going on for the, um, this is a reading for the remainder of January, okay? Feel free to check out my other channel if you would like uh, the links down below. You could also check me out on Patreon where I offer additional content for each sign. So, at the very end of this, like after I do this brief little spread here, I'm going to go over um, each sign and how they're feeling towards you and their actions in the remainder of January. Hmm. Well, you feel like you dodged a bullet in a situation. It could be with a Scorpio um, or another Virgo, maybe an Aries. You've got a lot of fire out here, but you feel like you've dodged a bullet. I think that something could have ended and you were really like, you know, you were grieving over it, maybe beating yourself up, blaming yourself for the way that something ended. Like, well, I could have done this differently. And now with the Seven of Wands being here, you're like, I'm glad that that, that that door closed. You know, I'm glad that shut in my face because now I have something better. I have something different here. So I think that things are finally looking up for you, even if that's not in the love area. It's like there are a lot of changes going on for you. And I think that they're mostly positive changes and you're realizing that if you were still wrapped up with this energy it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be like that as for uh, a person in your life here you have the five of wands you have the two of wands and you have the hermit they feel you're like you've although there's already been an ending here like they, they still felt attached to your energy all right let's look at let's just clarify let's do a little bit of that eight of wands Definitely fast movement with this um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nine of Cups. Somebody who's very supportive. Like, I just feel like maybe you were offering support to this individual, for example, and you kind of pull back. Or maybe you're still like, happy birthday, you know, or something like that. You pull back. Like, there's something here that you stop doing. Or it's simply that they feel your energy detaching. They feel that pulling away. They, they feel that. you got the Two of Wands right here. I think that when they isolated from you, they could have chosen someone else. The Five of Wands could be a card of competition. This definitely feels love-related to me, all the cups out here and all the fire out here. Page of Wands. Yep, they definitely chose someone else here, committed to this person. Five of Swords, and I don't think they're happy. you got two fives here in their energy. I don't think they're happy, so the tables have kind of flip-flopped here because I, I don't know if you're necessarily in a commitment or not, but your energy is definitely not on them anymore, and they can sense that, and they hate that, okay? They, they know that you've moved on, and they're very upset over that, okay? Now, as far as their actions go, or the outcome for the uh, end of January... You have the Seven of Cups. I still think that you could be in a space of confusion about whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here. Whether that's in love, work, or business, whatever the case may be. You feel like you're putting in a lot of work trying to make something happen, you know? So I think that's where your focus is, Virgo. What's going on with that? Ten of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're trying to end like a really tough... Um, Chapter here, experience, situation, something of that nature. It's not clear to me how big or small this is. But, um, yeah, it's caused a little bit of a hiccup in your life here. You're trying to get rid of that and that, move forward. Um, so, yeah, that Queen of Wands, it's like, you know what you want here. I don't think your focus is on that individual anymore. I'll just go ahead and say that. I don't think your focus is on them. It's not that you just got a distraction. It's like, no, there's just a lot more going for you at this point in time. So yeah, I definitely think the tables have uh, turned here in this situation. You've got three tens, so that's definitely completion here, okay? Yeah, you're moving on from that completely. I think that you're seeing that, all right? I feel like it's been going on for a minute, but here in the remainder of January, you're going to see that you moved on from that and that you dodged a bullet. Some of you, you're already feeling that, okay? But yeah, they're in this energy. It's not clear to me if they're reaching out. It feels like they're committed to someone else at this point in time. So it's like they're just having to watch from afar. You have this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, while they have that Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands energy. So yeah, it seems like there's something else you're trying to work through here, though, uh, Virgo, in the remainder of January, trying to get on your feet in a situation. So yeah, I think you're busy, all right? That's how it feels to me. I feel like you're busy. So let's go through all 12 signs, see how they're feeling and what their um, actions are going to be towards you in the remainder of January. Mm -mm. Okay, how about Aries? Aries could be waiting on something from you here. Uh, they get impatient and they come forward themselves. How about Taurus? Taurus, there's something really positive going on with the Taurus here. 
Virgo. Um, you have the Fool card as their um, feelings. So yeah, I definitely think that they want to move to a new level with you. Could be commitment, could be moving in together, you know, just making something official, could be engagement. Um, going to be different for all of you. How about Gemini? <clears throat> Gemini is grieving over this. I feel like they want, yeah, they want to restart with you. You know, you have the Ace of Wands here. They want a new beginning, but Five of Cups is their actions in their May or January. They're not acting on that, so they feel like they can't achieve it. They feel like they can't have that, like they messed something up. How about Cancer? Cancer wants things to move faster, and they're going to try it, okay? They're, they're going to try to get things to move faster here in the remainder of January. They want you closer to them, like they want more physical, like they're they're more into the physical and they want more of that. Cancer just like they're really wrapped up in you. How about Leo? Mm-hmm. Leo too. Leo's really wrapped up in you, but more more the emotional side of things um, than anything. You have the lovers and the temperance card, okay? So I feel like they're trying to connect with you on a deeper level. They already feel a connection with you, but they're gonna try to connect with you on a much deeper level. Um, how about the Virgo? Virgo's reading too much into you. What's new? <laughs> um, you have the Page of Wands as their action. So yeah, I feel like they're expressing something to you um, here in the remainder of January. Okay, they're, they're expressing their feelings here. Um, I do feel like they're way off, you know, but I think that they've read too much into something here. But the good news is that there's going to be a conversation about that. So clear that up if you wish. All right, how about Libra? World. Ten of Wands. Libra's trying to close it out. I think they're doing just that, but they're having a hard time with it. You know, they're still um, carrying it with them. How about Scorpio? Scorpio wants commitment, but they don't feel like they could have it with you. They might feel like you're like, oh, how do I put it there? They might feel like you connect with too many people. Like, I'm getting the word promiscuous. I don't know what the equivalent of that is for like a male, but yeah, they, they feel like you're like that. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, they want commitment, they want something serious, but they feel like you can't give that for some reason. How about Sagittarius? Sagittarius feels like you're moving on from something here. Like they really want growth with you. Um, this, this could be who we had this reading about here because we have the Ten of Pentacles showing up again. So they're seeing you commit here in the remainder of January or they're seeing you, um, you know, have some kind of financial glow up. But I feel like they are committed. Um, but they want something with you from afar. This person, they could be... Um, that could be a female, or like with the Empress that showed up, that could be a mother, the mother of your child. Um, you could be the mother in that situation. It's We all have masculine and feminine energy, but the Empress typically represents a mother. How about Capricorn? Capricorn's recognizing you. Capricorn watches you a lot. If you think they don't, you're wrong. You have the Moon card. Uh, they're going to keep doing that secretly. Okay, They definitely have their eyes on you. They're not doing anything in the remainder of January. How about Aquarius? Aquarius has a lot of love for you, but Four of Swords, they're holding, they're holding that back. I feel like there's a lot more that they have to reflect on there, like love isn't enough. You know, love isn't enough. So there's something else that they have to get done or there are other things they have to get clear about. How about Pisces? Pisces may not trust you. Pisces has some trust issues in general. Um, not Pisces the sign, but just this person you're dealing with here. King of Cups, though, I feel like they have a lot of love for you. They're just kind of going with the flow um, of things here, all right? Um, I'm not sure if that if there was some kind of issue that blew up between you and the Pisces in the past to where they feel like they can't trust something or if it's just trust issues that stem from past connections. But yeah, I was seeing that there. Anyhow, Virgo, um, I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.